For years, Lynette Wood was married to a man who abused her. I just kept going back through that cycle over and over. And I regret now that my children had to see that and be put through it. Her husband passed in 2006, leaving her with painful memories. These were strengthened years later when her friend Candy died from domestic violence. Even though she had issues at home, she would drop her issues and help a friend out. Wood is now channeling Candy's spirit. She's helping victims of abuse find hope and empowerment through her social work studies. On Wednesday, she and fellow classmates set up booze on campus to spread awareness. I would like to see more people talk about it um, because it's still one of them kind of hush hush. Lynette is here advocating for her cause, but she says this event is also a great way to practice for her future career. Her fellow social work students say the same thing. So we're going to be raising awareness about things, and so just being able to do that and get an opportunity to do this and practice it is awesome. This is really, you know, the meat and potatoes, I would say, of social work. This is, this is where it really gets uh, you know, fulfilling. Um, this is where I feel like I'm, I'm really needed, you know, is out here advocating for people. Wood and her classmates advocate for different issues, but they all help to drive each other's efforts forward. More like kind of like a family. Like we support each other as much as possible. They do things to support each other, to help each other out. And so I love that. They Watching them restores my faith in humanity every day. This is Wood's goal for anyone suffering from domestic abuse. I just um, would like women not to feel like they have to stay, that there are resources out there and people that are willing to help. In Pittsburgh, Stacey Lindsay, Fox 14 News.